Welcome everyone, it's Vapor Shitrakamar. It's time for some more. Red Shadow Legends. I am going to be doing some crazy stuff in Doom Tower again. Double resist. I'm gonna try a Vizier in here. I'm literally getting desperate. Like, things are getting to be crazy bad for me. Because I am literally, feels like I'm running out of options, and yet... What do I want to do to beat this, man? <sighs> like... I'm just going to try this, and then we're going to go do my next strategy. But it doesn't involve playing Doom Tower. Because I... <sighs> I'm going to lose the clan tournament trying to beat Doom Tower. That's the problem. Because of how hard this tower is at this floor. <sighs> Number one thing I hate about doing with Duchess. If you don't have... Say... I'm I'm not even I'm not even gonna make it that far and I'm just gonna ruin my whole tournament with that. And it's gonna suck. And I don't wanna suck. I wanna win. We're going to start with Fire Knight because first I'm going to show you, yeah, I'm just going to do it on manual. We're going to do a bunch of Fire Knight because Fire Knight's on a times two. I don't. I would I almost reached the top of Doom Tower. I just have to figure out a way around Magma Dragon. That's all I have to do is figure out a way around it. But it's going to involve non-burn champs. It's going to involve stuff like poison, healing, Vogoth, stuff like that. Um, maybe even Master Butcher at this point. I may even six star Master Butcher to do that, but I don't know if that's advisable. I'm trying to think of what. What to do versus that boss? I am going to attempt the higher fire knight. But in order to do so, I'm going to have to adopt some special strategies to do it.
One of which is going to be use Vogoth. Because I'm going to need additional healing, either Vogoth or Apothecary. Because I'm going to need a healer that can deal with and triple hit. I'm going to need two healers. Not just Sill's passive healing, but double heals because... The boss on that floor is going to hit Omega hard. And he's going to be a negative affinity for him. So you can forget about because Fire Knight's where it's at right now in terms of points so right now that's what I'm going to need to do. I'm going to have to use Fire Knight and Faction Wars to try to continuously keep the other clan suppressed. Because I have no choice if I want to continue this clan. I have to prove that I am who I say I am down to the last core. I will get to the Magma Dragon, but I don't think I have time for it because I can't conveniently beat it. And I don't... Magma Dragon has a lot of annoying stuff in it that I just don't have a... I don't have a convenient way of beating. All right, let's start a new Fire Knight team. Okay, first things first. We're going to have to take the Force Affinity out because that's not going to work. Um, next, we're going to have to put other stuff in its place. Well, Vogoth. Put him up front. And him. I'd put Demetha on there, but it's not enough hits. It's not enough hits. I need a triple hit. And I need something to control these waves. Because once you get into this depths of this, you can't really screw around. Because if we put force affinity in here, we're going to get rickrolled. We're going to get rolled so hard, it's not even going to be funny. It's going to be sad. So... That's why we're not going to want to put, like, the weakest affinity we're going to want on here is Void. Because Coldheart is going to be core in this team. Coldheart and Deacon. There's a reason for it. Coldheart and Deacon are used to control the Fire Knight. So 
Sill is used to revive and to continuously heal everyone. Which you practically need it at this level. Because we're talking ultra advanced Fire Knight. Now, Cold Art is still valuable here. Why? Because her heal reduction and her her enemy max HP skill is really nice for the higher levels of Fire Knight. Um, she is doing damage to them, but remember, these mobs are extremely tanky. So do not expect any of them to go down without an absurd amount of, of, of uh, effort. Deacon is almost a mandate. No, you didn't mishear that. A mandate in this team. Because you like someone like Deacon is practically a mandate. Because... <sighs> because the enemies are so tanky that if you don't have someone to control them constantly, you might as well just pack up. You also need multi-hits. Did I mention how much the brutal multi-hit requirement? But here's the reason I'm doing this. The reason I'm doing this is because this is what's going to advance me in clan wars. I'm going to lose the clan war in all respect if I don't go to this. Because I spent a full hour trying to kill Magma Dragon without even realizing it. And I'm going to lose my clan all of their respect and hard-earned effort if I don't immediately go to Fire Knight and start grinding. So I also need the Savage on top of that. I need the Savage for nukers like Cleopteryx. Oh, the most extreme Fire Knight I've ever done. We'll be lucky to get there. It takes four minutes just to get through the waves. These guys have so much defense. So much defense. I, I just did that just to just to chunk the turn meter. That's literally what I'm doing. Cause this guy is the most advanced fire knight I've ever fought. So oh Cold Art can still land you know what the funniest part is? Guess what I have a second of? On this account. Cold Heart. Yeah. You want to know why that's even possible? She's a rare. That's right. She's a rare. <laughs> Though even if she's immune to the rare curse, why is she immune to the rare curse? Because she's a rare. If anything, that helps her get into the game. Oh, you have a problem getting rares. <laughs> Guess what? She's back because of the thing about rares. <laughs> oh, yes. Uh. That's too funny, honestly. 
You see how funny that is? Perfect. This is hilarious. Granted, this fire night is wickedly difficult. And I would not recommend this without a kind of built up team. But we're doing it. <laughs> We are doing it, and there's a reason I'm doing it, is because I want, oh no, I can't. I'm in the middle of a clan tournament. I have to take this deadly serious. I don't want to get kicked from the clan for not taking this serious. I mean it. I have to take this, I have to, I have to prove the reason why I said I'm going to do this in the clan war. I have to prove it. Stage 19 fire night. This is just getting crazier and crazier. All right. The big question. Can we get to Fire Knight 20? Fire Knight 20 is the highest I'll ever go. I do not want anything higher than that. If I can beat Fire Knight 20... Oh... To think a freaking rare is doing this, is making this possible. A freaking rare. Not an epic, not a legendary, not even a free to play legendary. A rare is doing a lot of this work. Granted, it's a void rare, which should make you guys think twice about void rares, but a rare. Now, my other account is cursed with not having this rare, which is one of the reasons why it can't do this on Fire Knight. Because if it had Cold Heart, we'd be up there no problemo. The problem is, is that its curse with Void Shards extends to rares. That it will only drop rares that I don't want. Uh which drastically limits its ability to do Fire Knight. And yes, you do want to turn meter compress these guys constantly. You do not want to let them have a turn, if at all possible. 
because these suckers hurt at this level. Case in point. This is the most extreme Fire Knight squad that I have ever done. And it is about to get more extreme if we can get to Fire Knight 20 and beat it. Can we do this? Can we achieve the dream? Can we beat this and make it to Fire Knight 20? Can we beat Fire Knight 20? I have to check my Great Hall. Because I know my Great Hall is necessary to beat the higher versions of Fire Knight. We can make it to the top. I will make history. There's a reason I went for that. Because I knew if I didn't ha land the healing reduction, I would miss my chance. You don't want to miss your chance. So at least it's only 10. I wonder if Fire Knight, the other version, is like 12 at 20. Let's hope not. I know it's going to be at 21, but I'm not planning on 21 anytime soon, if ever. Decrease speed's pretty sick. I knew this was going to be rough. Because we're coming up on Fire Knight 20, which, by the way, was the limit at one point. Was the absolute limit. There was no better Fire Knight than Fire Knight 20. That was like the holy grail of Fire Knight. If you beat that, you could just go home and say, yeah, I've beaten the best Fire Knight ever. Not these days. Some crackpot decided to make Fire Knight for those who have obscenely good gear and no life. And they're like, what can we do to make this obscenely good Fire Knight and no life?
Let a vada den die a lie in a lot of family and a law that a let a melodia to lie. Are we going to beat this? Is this actually going to happen? Is Cold Heart going to do it? Is the rare. <laughs> the rare. <laughs> The rare gonna do it? Is he gonna do her do him in? What is that turn meter ability? Wow! What the actual hell? man this is actually stupid wow <sighs> did I screw up somewhere yeah, I probably did. Because, um, yeah, that one point where I screwed up, and now it's all the way back to the start. Man. Oh, no. Well, that's as hard as I've shoved thus far. It's going to require me to have 500 medals. I want to try for a legendary. Can we actually get one? First, let's clear some space. Full of junk. I 
I don't I don't want my my inventory flooding with junk because that's going to make me look bad is what that's gonna do What's this? I don't need you, Hexweaver. Or you, but you're a good cleanser, I guess. Come on! You gotta be kidding me. <sighs> well... They've pulled ahead. That's neat. That's really cool. I freaking hate Clan Wars, man. I'm just going to have to run this Fire Knight on, like... Stage 200 will do the trick until I can figure out what the hell is going on with. What's going on with our cold heart build here? Man, are you telling me that I don't even have a single accuracy banner for elves? Man. He doesn't have one either. No wonder. Well, I guess I'm going to make a bitter compromise. I'm going to show you. My best spider. Finest spider. This is literally the finest spider team for this fighter on the edge of reality. Level 200 spider. Hell, I'll even go past that. If need be. I want to try it. Because I want that banner, man. The fact I don't have an accuracy banner for Dark Elves annoys me. Because here's the deal. If I get an accuracy banner for Dark Elves randomly, then I'll be able to get Coldheart to do her job on that Fire Knight. 
Because the main thing is she can't miss. If she misses any of her stuff, then the Fire Knight gets to run away with it. That's the problem. There's a reason you want all those burns out on the field. It's because when you have all those burns out on the field, it allows the uh, the spiderlings to have an even distribution of damage. See? Yep. Extreme Fire Knight and... <sighs> and you might ask, why did you greed for a Legendary? It's because I know for a fact that they're going to greed for it and that we're behind. That's why. I know that for a fact. So I might as well just do the stuff that I know is going to work. And yes, you want to compress this turn meter of this spider constantly. To keep those burns on him at all times. Yeah, you want to keep the pressure on the main spider. Because you can allow some puking, but you really don't want much of it. Because he, he, like Fire Knight, will, will heal to full. You don't want him doing that. Mainly the whole purpose of this team, by the way, is to try to keep Drexthar alive. Drexthar and Deacon alive. Literally. There you go.
because I've got to do it to win. <laughs>